I would like to go ahead and introduce you to an amazing speaker who's going to talk about the future of Web3. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Akhil Reddy on stage, ladies and gentlemen, the founder of the Ujima Network, taking us through. Hello, hello everyone. I'm Akhil and I'm the founder of Dojima Network. So for all of us in the Web3 space, we all have that one question. How do we solve the cross-chain chaos? You'll have an answer to that by the end of the keynote. So it all started in 2008 with a simple decentralized cryptocurrency, the Bitcoin. Soon, there was a need to develop decentralized applications and to solve this need came Ethereum a base layer solution that solved the problem of deploying applications on top of a blockchain. But now, if you see the ecosystem, there are a lot of layer one and layer two blockchains out there, each having their own characteristics. Both developers and users are pretty confused in selecting which platform to use. So uh, Ethereum being the first player into the market, it had its monopoly for a long time. But now the market share is getting distributed among a lot of chains with the increase in bridges to making uh, asset transfers easy, easily possible between the chains. So you can see from the graph over here, the market share of Ethereum has been reducing over time, and the total value locked in, bri in bridges is increasing over time, So, which is a clear indication of our cross-chain future. Every blockchain is standalone, having its own architecture with its own development language, and there's no common interface connecting all the blockchains. So for a developer wanting to develop a cross-chain application, he has to deploy multiple times on different chains, and also cross-compatibility is not possible for the same application that is deployed on different chains. So there are a lot of chains available, and each chain having its own token format, and the requirement to use different provider to interact with one particular blockchain so this, the whole of this experience is making the whole of Web3 unorganized for both users and developers. So Dojima Network is here to solve this. So Dojima Network is a cross-chain layer one between all the chains, connecting all of them, and pulling in assets and data onto this middle ground. So this is very helpful for the adoption efforts of all the Web3 companies, as users and developers will now be able to deploy and use complex cross-chain applications. To make things more awesome, the middle ground we created is an EVM chain with cross-chain consensus, uh, further increasing its appeal to more than 80% of the Web3 developers. So to, complete, to create a complete cross-chain ecosystem, there are three phases to it. In the first phase, we would be connecting Dojima chain with uh, all, the, all, the, all of the chains. And in the second phase, we'd be forming independent connections between all the connected chains and the third phase is where we would be aggregating all the protocols. We'd be deploying interface contracts on each chain so that uh, to enable interoperability for all the protocols that are deployed on the chain. So we developed a lot of cross-chain products along with our Crow architecture, starting from a cross-chain wallet to cross-chain dApp store. And uh, we also developed a cross-chain API service along with a cross-chain developer dashboard to make development and deployment of cross-chain applications easier. So along with these products, we, there are a lot of other cross-chain products in our pi pipeline to keep us on a fast track to organize the cross-chain space. We recently launched our testnet at IIT Bombay in front of 5,000 developers, and from then on, we have doubled down on our adoption efforts to organize the cross-chain space. So I'd like to end the keynote with a small video showcasing how we're getting closer to organize the cross-chain space.
Thank you, everyone. Check out Dojima Network and join us in organizing uh, the cross-chain space. Thank you.